Good morning. Today we have a full day of hauling liquid manure ahead of us here. I'm just going to pull up to the pump tractor right now. We're going to check the oil level in there and then I'm going to start it so we can let it warm up a bit. Perfect. That thing's sitting there warming up. Now we're gonna head over to the tanker tractor and get that thing started too. So we're gonna have to add some oil on this. I have noticed it's been getting lower and lower every day. Uh, it slowly burns off a little bit, it looks like. So we'll just add some more before we get started here this morning. It's good enough now. Awesome, we're gonna let those two tractors warm up and I'm gonna go take care of the most important thing of every single morning. So just starting off here, I need to get the hydraulics and float for those steering axles. So I just click that one forward and then those axles are going to steer. But now we're going to go ahead and pull up to that pump. Start the PTO up. So this pump here is just ran on the PTO of the tractor. Uh, we leave the tractor at about 1800 RPM and it fills up the tank in about three minutes. And then to actually control this pump here, uh, we got the four levers and that runs off that one hydraulic there in the tractor. So we can just move it. First load is full, let's go head out to the field and dump it. dump the first load here PTO goes on and then we got to switch a valve on top there RPMs back up and now we're dumping the fuel gauge on this tractor is broken so it doesn't actually show me how much fuel is left in here and I know I didn't fuel it up yesterday at all it's got a really big fuel tank like I could chop silage for 15 hours in a day and not have to worry about fuel but uh, I'm just gonna top it off this morning because I don't want to be standing still in between the farm and the field.
So we're spraying it over the field right now. Basically the manure gets shot out of this pipe super quick, hits this plate here and it just spreads out. It's kind of like a whole semicircle. The reason why we're not using any of those injectors is because we don't want to leave a bunch of trenches in the field everywhere. Because if we do that, we're going to have to harrow this field and we're scared of blowing out here as well. So we're just blasting it over top. Still works pretty good. We like to use those injectors where we can just because we do like to retain as much of that nutrients in the manure as possible. But um, when we can't use it, we're just going to blast it over the field. So this lever right here switches it from spraying from that hose to into the fill spout there. So my float on top there that I tried fixing, uh, it's still not working. So I just sit down here, ready with this handle here, and I wait until I see some crap splash out of the spout there. And as soon as I see that, I kill it, and usually it's quick enough. I just got a warning on the screen here that the transmission temp is too high and it's at 228 degrees Fahrenheit. That's way too high, so I'm gonna go and blow out the rad. I didn't think this was gonna be a problem, but it is pretty dusty and there's quite a bit of crap flying up everywhere in that field. So we're just gonna blow out the radiator and the air filter and hopefully that cools things down. So it's a pretty long reach into that rad right there. So we grabbed an air gun that was quite a bit longer. This secondary filter is pretty clean, just a bit of crap fell from that other filter, so I just vacuumed it out. So I got these little displays here. There's two of them right here. And I can basically cycle them through what it shows. And I was keeping it on this screen, but I'm just gonna leave it on this one that shows the uh, transmission oil temperature now. And uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully it stays cool. Gonna grab the truck here with the slip tank on there so we can fill up that pump tractor. Mm -hmm. 
starting to rain pretty good now. So we're gonna connect these up for the pump to work. Definitely a super safe job to do when it's raining. That'll do. Finally a vehicle with windshield wipers that actually work. That is gonna be it for today's video guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram at SASDutchKit and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.